Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Live Econ Guy. Uh, in this video, I want to discuss job vacancies and labor participation levels and rates and how that impacts the economy. Uh, so recently, we've all been hearing about the high vacancy rates in the jobs markets and how that creates uh, essentially a tight labor market. And uh, essentially, what this makes youth think about is that there's a lot of people that are not going back to work. So you might ask, when, are, when is everyone going to go back to work? Um, vacancy rates are important because the Fed uses that to guide, in part, to guide their monetary policy. So if you ever listen to the Fed speeches, the FOMC speeches, they mention the vacancy rates as uh, one of the indicators of whether they should increase or decrease uh, their um, uh, essentially monetary policy, whether they should uh, tighten or loosen. So right now the vacancy rates are pretty high and as a result of that uh, the Fed is uh, raising interest rates and um, decreasing the size of their balance sheet. So what the Fed uses essentially is the Bureau of Labor Statistics and their rates. So currently the vacancy job vac vacancy rate stands at 6.9% and that's roughly 11 million 11.2 million jobs uh, that are currently vacant so you might ask why is there so many vacancies um, uh, are people just not going back to work so you'll be surprised because this is the bureau of labor statistics again and this shows the labor participation levels so before the pandemic, um, January of 2020, we had 158.7 million people working. Right now, we have essentially the same, 158.7 million, 158 million people um, uh, participating in the labor force. I mean, if you look at this, you might, you might think, wow, we recovered. What's the issue? Why are there so many vacancies? And that's a good question because usually people think that people are just not going back to work, which is not the case. So next, I want to look at uh, the business applications. So during the pandemic, there was very uh, lax uh, lending rules for small businesses. Um, a lot of business loans were forgiven through the Paycheck Protection Program. Um, basically, a lot of businesses were opened during the pandemic. Now, the result of this is that there is currently an elevated amount of businesses. Um, and all of these businesses are trying to hire. Now, when there is a lot of businesses, there's going to be a lot of vacancies, obviously. So, this creates this situation where there is a lot of vacancies, but the labor participation levels are essentially the same as before the pandemic and now. So guys, what does this mean? What does this mean? What is the Fed gonna do? Currently, they're tightening monetary policy, which creates doing business, which, cre which makes the conditions of doing business more difficult. So it makes everything more expensive. It's more expensive to get loans. So all these businesses that were created during the pandemic on easy money, low interest rates, everything like uh, super easy uh, and accessible, um, these businesses might not survive. So they're going to start closing. And when these businesses start closing, the vacancy rates are going to go back down. Now, you might wonder, uh, you might hope that these new businesses, all of these uh, essentially businesses that opened, they're the ones that are going to close, but this might not be the case, guys. Let's imagine a situation where the businesses that should exist end up closing, and then the businesses that shouldn't uh, exist because they're not profitable follow suit. So you're going to have a lot of businesses filing for bankruptcy, so all these BK11s. Now, guys, imagine uh, what the result of this is going to be. So when there is a giant wave of bankruptcies, how does this impact uh, government policy and what is going to be the result of this? Um, personally, I think that the Fed is fighting all of these businesses uh, to see who will survive. Um, obviously, people are back to work. It's a matter of um, making uh, econ economic conditions 
so tight that these businesses can't survive. So uh, that's I think that's what's going to happen, guys. Uh, let me know what you think, uh, what you see out there. Um, personally, to me, it looks like everyone is working. Everyone has a job. Um, but apparently we have all of these vacancies. So it'll be interesting how this plays out.